Well, hello, this is Jimonism Total Nerdy Channel, and I have been doing this again. I have built a vehicle without showing you anything, um, because I have looked at videos and stuff while I build it. So, uh, we will look at these new things I built now. And yes, we will get back to the builds that are going on. Have patience, or don't. Um, anyways, uh, what is its name? Don't tell me it doesn't have been saved. That would be sad. Oh, yeah. Longborge XXX. Which is supposed whoops, to be a kind of... It's not finished, okay, you know. It's supposed to be a sheep-ass long-distance artillery vessel. However, it didn't turn out very sheep-ass. Um... So that's a problem. It's also kind of useless because it's made out, out of wood and I guess it's not very safe to use. But it does collect some resources. It's very slow. And it makes some ammo. And it, uh, and it has an AI and it has a pretty cool steam engine that I'm pretty proud of like this is... oh shit this is... oh god damn it uh, oh yeah, and uh, we have a little problem um, <laughs> anyways, the steam engine is pretty damn cool uh, so let me just uh, now let's see here escape this thing just spawn a new one because that one got really sad. Re really sad. Okay, like this. Oh no, no. Wrong. Load. Load. Yatta. Okay, great. Uh, there are weird things showing up here now. How do I remove? I hate those bars. They look stupid. I don't know how to remove those bars. That looks stupid. Oh well. Um, so oh, this is kind of... Oh, we blew up the ammo. That's why there was this big destruction. You see these things. These are ammo. Uh, I think it seems like I have blocked the way to my water pump somehow. That kind of sucks. No? I have not blocked my way to my water pump. This should be fine. Oh well, whatever. Um, nonetheless so uh, let's try this out here uh, it's, <laughs> it's really slow uh, it's made out of wood and I guess if this actually gets into a fight it's pretty it, it will blow up in uh, one and a half second very sad very sad but uh, oh well Let's test the speed of it, or something. Uh, we can go here. We can go and we can draw up the boiler control to 1,000 million percent, and then we'll probably get a little faster vessel, maybe. I know, it's tiny. It's not tiny, but it's kind of cute. You have to agree. Um, So, I don't know, previously it ran about the speed of uh, maybe around 4 or something like that. Pretty fast, is it not? So anyways, if we go to all weapons, um, I can't get some kind of lock on, so that's uh, disturbing. Oh well, let's just go and test the vehicles. Well, no, the vehicles, the guns, one by one. It's more safe. So, I mean, if we fight, you know, these old turrets are really good. That's why I used them again. I also prolonged the barrels in the hope that it will get, uh, you know, that it will be better in long range. But I don't think that from the depth of work this way. No, I totally just guess. And this is the problem with wood. <laughs> Anyways, oh shit. Oh god. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So my steam engines are sad. Let's... Oh, yes, shut up. Thank you. 
Um, yes. Any case, we have. Okay, turn off. Maybe a little on. Something around there. So, anyways, we have this immensely huge uh, crammed big canister. They're the maxed size, and uh, the uh, they I, they reload at 15 seconds, and the thing would be hysterically big if I would make it reload even faster. 15 seconds, right? Um, yes. And it's the maximum gouge, and we have some uh, some explosives, some EMP, and pretty much uh, arm-piercing things, armor-piercing thing. We also have a automatic belt feeder auto cannon here, which is pretty damn insane with high explosive bullets, and it has three shots and things. Oh well, anyways, um, so. I will just aim one of these beauties here so you can see the immense range of this also the recoil because I thought it would be kind of fun to not have recoil uh, dampening things so in reality the maximum degree would be kind of 43 degrees but whatever let's just fire this thing and well you know I don't know if this is good but I couldn't make it better than this at least. Um, I think it seems to be traveling pretty far. And now it disappeared. That is depressing. So it just disappears for a while, that's pretty sad. Oh well, whatever. Um, and this one here, as you see here, we can just try to fire it towards the enemy. No, no, we'll be missed, oh well. Uh, well, we have these ones. Which we can't follow the shots on. And I don't really know why. No, we can have a sneak peek, oh we couldn't. Oh, this then. So, I guess we need to spawn an actual enemy to be able to test this. I can just make one more guess shot around there. This is actually pretty... oh, well, not, not good enough. Sad. Oh, look, we can shoot off our own balance. Uh, well, anyways... This is... oh god, I have it. I have it, I have it, I have it. Miss. So, anyways, let us. Uh... <coughs> oh, wait. Uh, I need to be in the proximity of the AI. Never mind. Or wait. Does it change anything? Somewhere around here. We have the fire control computer right here. So, if we go into the fire control computer here now, maybe we can get a little target. And uh, that's the wrong way to do it. So anyways, if we just jump off this little thing here and spawn another one. Somewhere around there. And we load the vehicle and we load the long bogey. And we resume and we select another weapon slot. Then we fly away and we... Um, We should probably get it some more power to work with. I don't know if this is dangerous, we'll notice. So anyways, um, by the way, I added, uh, I don't know if this works, I added a battery and a electric engine. I guess they provide uh, some power to the engines, maybe. Uh, so, um, yes, I don't know. Let's just spawn a C adder, I don't know what that is. Holds fire. Oh. And here we have. Oh, that's tiny. Aha, I learned something. Oh no. Oh, this is kind of cute. Just grenade launcher, basically. 
Well, that's tiny. Um, but this seems to be most of the, doing the most of the work anyway, so that's kind of fail. Um, oh well, let's spawn a. I remember Vanguard was kind of cool. No, is this a Vanguard? Well, that's sad. And this is doing nothing? Really? Does it even have an AI or is it basically brain dead? It seems to be okay. Oh well. Um, so I built this great ship. <laughs> oh wow. So it has thrusters, no? We should probably build a boat with thrusters, I guess. That's cool. This is kind of cool. It's a small little cannon there. So, I'm just curious. Why will these... Why do they refuse to work? Very interesting. Oh! My things are firing at least. This is, yes. That's cool. And it totally shoots really off. That's interesting. Wow, what is it doing? It shoots this way? What does it shoot against? Does, is it just sad or is there something hidden somewhere? Interesting. So maybe it's just sad. Great hits. <laughs> okay, I want to. Uh, fire all the guns. That wasn't so hard, right? What's the problem? Man. So, let's spawn more ships here. <clears throat> um, easy Kalmar, that's bigger. Oh, now we have a Kalmar incoming. Well, that looks more formidable. Uh, the design of the enemy ships are just so cool. So, please waste this ugly boat for me. You can see how it fares. It's kind of unprotected, but it actually performs decently, which is, I don't know, strange. So, it goes into ramming distance. Interesting. While well, these beauties are firing at... This poor old bastard. Oh shit, this is me. Oh yeah, that's me. Because this one is not me. Oh yes, that's sad. Oh well. And... How fresh are we exactly? The engine is kind of dead. Okay, interesting. So... Ouch, that's close to the ammo. Interesting. Ooh! That's close. Ok, 
Okay, let's see how it hits now. And the shots done some damage, okay. Where are my big guns? Okay, it died. So, oh, a Valros, that's pretty huge. Let's spawn a Valros. Is this the Valros? It seems pretty small. Oh, it looked larger. Let's just fire to this thing. Oh, and here we have the big shits, big shots, big shits bouncing. Interesting. I wonder why they're so accurate. Maybe we should have some better settings. These are much more accurate. Interesting. The walrus is pretty cool though. And the next volley. So interestingly, the small uh, backward attack support turrets actually do most of the damage. Oh, that's not our... Wait, where? Even though we have the bigger systems. Interesting. And... Lock on and fire. I want to see. Can the. Yes, thank you. Yes. Uh, it got annihilated. I'm happy. We need to counter. We need to counter turn the ship. Come on. Forward. It's just sad. Oh, so the recoil makes it turn a lot more, and then we have the problem. I see. That makes sense. So this is the current state. Interesting. What does it have? Lots of flight. Alarians controls as well, that's weird. Maybe we need to have some Alarians as well to make it more stable or something. <clears throat> Actually, our long range gun seems to be pretty useless, yeah. Wow. So, if we look at these guns here, required accuracy for firing is 0 0.5 de God damn it, 0 0.5 degrees, <laughs> and the required angle before firing is 5 degrees. So, I guess. If we make this more accurate, we'll reach the same result as the uh, as the turret. But maybe if there are fixed cannons, it might sometimes be better to just fire anyways. Aha! Dodge! Okay. Now we have lined up. And it's doing nothing. Interesting. Okay. Thank you. Just fire. So, the interesting thing is that I've maxed our cannons, our big cannons. Whoops. Okay, now it fires. For maximum penetration. Oh, and it totally misses, anyways. Oh well. Well, good, we set it to more accurate then. I didn't know accuracy had such an, uh, you know, importance. 
this I think. And will it fire? Yes, because my tests have proven had shown it to go through almost all tar targets. So that's pretty cool. Also, the machine gun thing, while we can't really produce it, uh, it seems to be able to have continuous power or just continue continuous shooting. Oh well. Uh Urchin. Okay, so now, will it target itself is the question. Ouch. Will it have the sufficient accuracy? Oh god damn it. Oh no. I thought I installed a failsafe on that. Interesting. The cannons really can't aim themselves. Is this because we have... Oh! Yes, never mind. Um, so we haven't really installed <laughs> the uh, AI sensors. So if you have been dying in the comments all, all this time, uh, it's because we don't have sufficient AI sensoring that we need to aim ourselves. Okay, let's see this one here. Oh well. Um, so, sorry about that, you know, it's not finished yet and stuff. The question is, why does the AI discover anything at all? That's kind of interesting. Oh yeah, oh shit. Uh, regular. Let's go to regular and expert, maybe regular. And we have a baby paddle gun. Mm. And no, no, now we need to do it like this. And we can start. Oh no! They only. Well, you can see they go through most of the things you hit it with, so that's cool. Oh well, we can continuously fire. Oh god, it flies. The volley misses. That's dead. Oh well. Let's pour the Wanderlust. Oh, here we have something to talk about. Oh god. Well, we have a good hit with the first volley. The automatic uh, machine gun thing does a pretty good job eating up hull. Nice. I don't dare to look at the missile impacts. That went right through. Right. The next one skipped over it. Right. Oh, there we have a good hit. I like how it jumps up in the air. And we have the explosive volleys there, interesting. Here we get a straight shot again, and whoa! A straight through shot again, interesting. Let's aim down there. Ah, oh, excellent. I don't know how strong of an enemy this is, but oh well. Pretty interesting to try. Ah. 
So, we have the expert, the Pavler. Can we take on... Oh god damn it, not that direction. I'm feeling the direction kind of makes me sad. Oh, oh. <laughs> that bounces off, interesting. They just bounce, interesting. Come on, can we turn before we die? Okay, alright, now we finally have automatic shots here. Okay, we can fire the first big volleys. Interesting. Ah, oh well. It has shields also, so it's a bit little more advanced than we are. And we have the big shot. Oh no, it bounced off the shield. So sad. And it also has lasers or something? No. Is it kind of shooting our shells or what? Too advanced for me. So it's basically immune against our big shots. That sucks. Now it's going to ram us. Well, that's pretty sad. And they, everything would jumps off. God damn it. We can't do anything about uh, uh, against the shields. Shields. Evil. Oh well, what do you do? Not much, eh? Or if we're at... Were we when we're this close, we no the shield still deflected. Interesting. Well, and it's just eat through our hull, except the explosive shots which explode on. Uh, Inertia, I think. Yeah, angle change. Oh well. Let's let's hope for some help. We can spawn a Snorri Excel in there and hope it helps us a little bit. Just to see to see it in live action, or the current state of it. Does it help though? The question is, will it be able to, uh, you know, steer its steer itself? Or steer its own, you know, alt oh yes, it can steer its own altitude, good. Oh, nice. Nice. -er. So at least the Snorri Excel seems to be really safe in there. <laughs> Just bombs down like that. Actually, I I wanna I wanna spawn another. No. I wanna spawn an, an another Snorri Excel. Just you know, so we can have the the experience of ourselves. Okay.
Alright, and now we have lock on. And fire. No! Does this have a failsafe, by the way? Oh, yeah, we don't really use the failsafe. <laughs> Okay, number one. Is this this one? No? Fire! And... Oh no! <laughs> Sad. Oh. Our vehicle is firing pretty badly. Well, it's kind of interesting. It still flies, though. It flies with one arm. So we can use the forward. It's pretty hard to control, but it's doable. I think our enemy disappeared though. Oh well, now now you've seen that. Um, let's just, however, let's see here. Let's load a Snorri Excel here. Zoom. And let's just um, set some things here. I guess we want our cannons on more accuracy. This is not very accurate. Maybe we can lower the accuracy a little bit, like that. And these ones are pretty accurate already. Oops. These are pretty accurate already. They're at maximum. I don't know, the machine guns feels pretty useless. We can just have them fire in the general direction. Hope they kind of almost hit something. This one, however, I feel we should probably have it on at least one oops degree one point not five one that's perfect I wonder if we should add some kind of fusing box as well if we have one on this I don't remember let's see here cram connector Who knows? Maybe cram firing piece. Oh well, I don't think we can fit one anyways. It might be good to add some time, but uh, well, we changed that, so let's save. Let's save. And then we load the. Let's load it on. Then load, and then we should load the Longbow GXXX. And then we. Oh no! I feel we should probably whoops. Do a bit like this. So we can break it a little bit and okay, let's release it. Pladask. And we can change this to maximum accuracy. Thank you, maximum accuracy, because otherwise I might forget it. So let's have them at maximum accuracy. Or actually this one is a bit, you know... No, why? I so hate this system. Okay, thank you. Zero. One degree, good. 
Perfect. Great. So now we can save it. Well, we need to build, we need to add sensor systems and stuff. But, anyways, uh, that's what's been going on. So I hope you enjoyed this little uh, another new in progress thing. Uh, I'll see you around. Jimmy signing out.